What's going on, everybody? Friends of Fan Duel, Ryan Williams here. You can find me on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W. And I'm here on the hurry up to talk about the week two DFS studs that you need for your Fan Duel lineups on the main slate. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting at quarterback, we're going to go with Tom Brady. He's 8,200 this week. Why are we going with Tom Brady? He's the third highest priced Fan Duel quarterback. And he's playing in a game here against Atlanta at home. And Atlanta Swiss cheese on defense. They can't stop anybody. And you're looking at the two games that Tom Brady played against this team last year. And he threw for 390 yards in both games. So what's to make us think that with no new regime there on Atlanta, that he won't be able to do this again. And look at that. You can even hear the sirens in the background of my hometown in Chicago. Like they're behind me on getting Tom Brady love in this week. Uh, you got to love the matchup here. And I think playing Tom Brady allows you to kind of maybe get a little bit contrarian with your lineups because I think a lot of people want to play Russ Wilson. I think a lot of people will want to play Kyler after he's exploded, but this game still should go bananas. Both of the games last year against Atlanta went for over 59 points. So we definitely love that when talking about our fantasy teams. And I don't think you necessarily have to take a pass catcher with Tom Brady this week. You can get creative with your lineup. So that's what I'm doing at quarterback. And that's how I'm starting teams. Let's talk about a running back in a running back who who doesn't catch passes, which if you follow uh, my guy Jim Sonis on Twitter at Jim Sonis, uh, he was just talking about running backs who don't catch passes and what that means for the perfect fan duel lineups that they have to smash. Well, here's a running back who can smash. His name's Nick Chubb. He's 8,400 here, and his team is 12 and a half point favorites taking on the Houston Texas in a home matchup. I mean, what's not to love about Nick Chubb this week? Incredible 30 point implied team total. I already said that he's at home, double digit favorites. We love targeting that for our running back DFS studs. And then you're, I had to do some research on this, right? So we're going back and we're looking at games that Cleveland has actually won by double digits and what that's meant. And there's been eight games. Five of those eight games, the guy saw 20 plus carries. So we love the type of usage he's getting. And a touchdown in all eight of those games. That's right. He scored in all eight of the games when Cleveland won by double digit points. Odell Beckham, he's on the injury report, going to miss this game again. So maybe, you know, maybe there's leverage to taking Baker and on, it's on teams where you don't want to have Chubb. You think that he's chalk and you want to fade him and go a different route, but I'm just going to bite the bullet and say that Chubb's in the best matchup. And, you know, if we were taking the slate a hundred times, I think he'd be in that premier matchup uh, hunt. He's still seeing a little bit of work, but even then he has to be so efficient on the limited work that he's using. We know that we're going to see Chubb get the bulk of the carries here. And so we love that. You also love that the red zone there, a red zone role is there for Chubb as he saw six red zone carries, which put some tight at second. Uh, to start the league already. So put Chubb into your lineups and uh, let's not regret it <laughs> come Sunday. Last but not least, I talked about Tom Brady. So we can't talk about a quarterback without some type of correlation to the stack. So let's run it back with the guy Calvin Ridley out of Atlanta. He's 7,700 this week on FanDuel. And I think people are down on him and let's buy low, so to speak, on that aspect and put him into the lineup. He was still seeing a bulk of the targets that's what we love to see from our receivers and Matt Ryan just couldn't hit him it was a frustrating game to to watch uh Atlanta take place on uh against Philly but I think that Atlanta is going to be in tons of situations like this where they are either playing from behind or can't get the run game going or what have you and so you're looking at a matchup here where Okay, so the Tampa Bay secondary, they just lost a significant piece of the defense. Sean Murphy bunting, he got placed on IR. They're putting, they're bringing guys in like Pierre Desaire into their practice squad. And Jordan Whitehead, their star safety, he's expected to be back, but he hasn't been officially ruled in. So the secondary could be dealing with trouble. And the secondary just got lit up by Dallas and Dak. Cooper went for 139 yards and two touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb had over 100 yards and a touchdown. And now we're going to get Calvin Ridley and Co. And that's what it is. And Co. I mean, Kyle Pitts is a rookie. They have Russell Gage. They have Aiden Hurst, all these guys. But it starts with Calvin Ridley. And you love this. It's a get right spot for him. He's had success against Tampa two games last year, 26 targets and eight catches in both. So I love being able to pair Tom Brady either with one pass catcher and bring back Calvin Ridley or even just Tom Brady and a Calvin Ridley stack, I think is very going to be very successful this weekend for Sunday. That's going to do it for the FanDuel hurry up. Again, you can catch myself, Ryan Williams, on Twitter 
uh, talking nonsense and all things FanDuel with you guys at Ryan Alexander underscore W. Catch me on the hurry up every week talking your DFS studs. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Just hit that like button one time for us after you subscribe, and we appreciate it. Until then, catch you next time. Peace.